guys. This is Laurel, Laurel of the Dabbling Hook. How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing better than I am right now because <laughs> I was just talking for a good six, seven minutes and I thought I hit start and I didn't even dawn on me that I hit the camera button instead and so here we are again. Happy New Year again. Already got stuff in my eye. Um, hope you guys are having a good year so far. Me, not so great. Uh, more woes. <laughs> Both the minions are not doing well. Just came back from my second appointment, doctor's appointment with minion one. He's missed a few days of school already. And minion two now has nosebleeds and stomach problems and just, yeah. Seems like it's going to be that kind of year already. I'm trying for the positive thoughts, but it's really hard right now. Um... Hopefully it's just going to be really quick because, like I said, I just got back from the doctor's appointment and I'm at the tail end of my lunch hour that I use for that. So, um, I am having some uh, absolutely lovely tasting, lovely smelling tea. Oh, 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 glare. It's the tea guys, not the tea guys, tea guys. And I just realized moments ago, and I've had this for a week, that it's made in Massachusetts, so even better. But it's uh, hibiscus, uh, raspberry currant, caffeine-free, and it's just, it smells so good. And I can't wait to turn it into iced tea when it gets warmer. Um, what else? Yeah, this is going to be quick if I don't babble. <sighs> um... What are we going to talk about? Some, a few foes, whips, acquisitions, and, but first, um, just a mention that Kim, of Classy Kim, Kim Go, of, it's a Go Goff, Go, of Classy Kim, <clears throat> started a 2020 subscribership, I guess, challenge. And the premise is that you know, we all know all the bigger channels out there, um, or our favorites. We all have favorites, but there are a lot of <clears throat> other people. And Kim is one who um, she supports, and um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, purchases from a lot of us makers and a lot of just the, the makers out there, um, the small businesses. And she wants basically to <clears throat> get more people exposed. Uh, a lot of people comment on videos and they may or may not have channels um, and sometimes when people are mentioned it's really hard to find somebody because searching you have to be really specific now which doesn't make any sense because you can Google anything and Google owns YouTube so I don't know why it doesn't work but either way um, her challenge is uh, for those who makes videos to mention this and have invite all your subscribers and watchers to put your information below whether you have not your email nothing personal um, but if you have a YouTube channel Facebook um, Etsy store whatever other stores put it down below so that other people scrolling through and reading through the comments will see it will be able to find you um, uh, will be able to uh, patronize your business if you do have one so open to all if you have a uh, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, mine is always down the first thing below my video. So um, put it down in the comments so people can um, find you. I know that a lot of people have mentioned that if you try to search on somebody's name, unless you're very specific and have exactly what it is, it's not coming up. Again, another thing that since especially YouTube is um, owned by Google, that it should be able to come up, but it doesn't. And I know that Etsy, a year or two ago, changed their the way they do things where you can't search for a, a store anymore through Etsy, maybe it was a year ago. Um, with the name, <clears throat> you have to pay basically when they change their, however they did things, that in order to come up through search, you have to pay whatever it is that that, that premium, um, I don't know if it's a subscription service or whatever, uh, tier that they have. You can always go if you're looking for somebody go on Google and just do Etsy and that person's name or the store name if you think you know it and usually you can find it that way but you can't search to them through Etsy so it's a good idea to put your information down below um, so that people can find you okay 
the other thing um, I'll keep that one for whips or future whips um, I mentioned last time that I have um, I made the Yoda and I had a request to make five more and I was in the middle of a couple other things so that person knows that it's gonna be a little bit so I started it and I have I made all the parts except for um, the body and the head is made off of um, the legs after you join them so I made all the legs all the arms all the ears um, all the little scarf that goes around it uh, so now I started so I finished the first one and then I'm on the second one so I joined the legs and I just finished the body so I'm about to join for um, for the head so that will be number two and then I'll have three more to go after that so yeah and you would think something so small would be it is quick but it's fiddly because there's so many little pieces to it but that's what's on on the hook um, what I'm also working on last time I had shown this hat which didn't get I think much further this was an old um, crochet hat that I took apart and it's double stranded and I didn't want to have to pull out the hat and then um, pull out the double strands that's a pain because everything gets tangled so I just um, just started making a basic hat from the ball it's Peyton's um, wool but this is a colorway you can't find anymore because I know I bought this um, at a closeout place or maybe it was even a Dollar Tree but I was just doing basic and then I decided to you see my fingers I decided to add um, eyelets to it so that hasn't gotten very far because you know I had other things to and this was a spur of the moment thing so there's that and the other thing is I had an order last year for two hats and one of them turned out too big so um, it was for a family member I said I'll just remake the one that's too big so I'm almost done with that actually I got probably from like here up I finished at the doctor's office um, so that's that it's from the wool that was donated to me last year by the anonymous person who knows who they are um, it is one of the tea cakes Karen tea cakes and this is the birthday party one I think because it's got the little Tweety Flex that are all different colors. So yeah, I just need to finish a few more rows and close it up, and that'll be that, and I can ship that off. So that's that. And then I still have um, two hedgehogs, potentially also two monkeys, like the one I showed last time, to make. I don't know about the monkeys, because I have, right now, I think I have two weeks to get those done. But I need to get everything else done this week. And the other thing is, um, I'm one of the huge procrastinators that um, I officially registered my business in July and I was very negligent as far as keeping records so I'm in the process of pulling my hair out trying to figure everything out out so adding to my lovely mood of late <laughs> so that's that um, so those are the whips I think that I have um, yeah alright I did do some tidying up because I was just I was going out of my mind with all the things that needed to be done and my frustration with myself over my records that I started doing a little cleanup <laughs> so floor there's no yarn on the floor other than what's in a box right now um, but it also re-registered with me that I have I have way too much yarn that no I don't have way too much yarn I have a lot of yarn but I haven't had a lot of time to to make stuff with the yarn from July usually I start making for craft fairs and it's usually bulky yarn and I used a good bit of that I also purchased some more um, but I did use quite a bit of it but I also have a lot of other yarns there that I have not been using my cakes that I wanted to use I haven't been using yeah so that soft band that I'm on <laughs> speaking of um, before the year was over I ordered yarn just to you know get it all on my system so I'll have stuff and 
I had ordered from Blueprint twice. One I had shown you, and then the other one came. And then today I just picked up um, my Premier yarn, which I'm very excited about, actually. But right now I'm done, <laughs> unless something really catches my, you know. I'm not saying I'm not buying yarn. I mean, we know how that goes. Could be like a 2 a.m. Ooh, I'm still up, and look what I just saw kind of purchase, but I need to stick to it. No yarn, no yarn, no yarn for now. <laughs> Um, so I'll be showing you the, the yarn that came in. Um, also, Kalisha of um, Quirky Monday Craft Casts, uh, she also goes by Nadira Tani. She just released, um, is, it a, is it a series you're doing, Kalisha? She, um, she has the Just Feel Better shawl, which I made, and if I can find my picture, I'll put it up. Um, was touched quite a lot at my craft fairs, but nobody, people just, people are afraid of shawls. Um, but she just came up with a wrap, an on the bias granny wrap, um, again with fingering, which will not be happening. I actually do have some fingering weight yarn. I looked over and it's just been sitting there forever. I might tackle it, but it's just so thin that it would just take forever. So we'll see. But she just called, she just came out with a just feel festive, um, wrap pattern. It's free. Um, I've already downloaded my copy, and it's on my list of to-do, so it's a whip that hopefully, after I get all the to-dos done in January, that I will I will end up doing, because I also have to put together these darn squares from that cal. Speaking of cals, my intention is to not join any cals this year. Um, intention, because if it's an amigurumi thing, it probably will pull me in. The... Um, Oh, the name is escaping me right now, and I've done it two years. They're on Facebook. Um, it's run by um, Marie of, oh my gosh, the Underground Crafter. They have a an along every year, and it's a bunch of designers, and every, I think, week or every two weeks, somebody comes up with a new, a new design. It's an amigurumi one, and I've done it. First year I did them all, second year I didn't do all of them because all of them didn't appeal to me. So that's potentially the only one I'm going to join, but I have too many things that I need to finish, that I need to do, that joining in any cal is just going to really put a wrench in that. So, And I'm just looking at people walking by. So that's that. So no cows, but we shall see. All right. Um, finish objects. So you saw the one Yoda. <laughs> one of many. Um, the other thing that I had to make was um, the group, my meetup group that we go to, it meets every Wednesday and tonight, and I'm not even sure if I'm going today, but um, actually we have a, a chat group uh, for the, the meetup group and they, yesterday or the day before, somebody came out with um, everything that's happening in Australia, you guys all know the fires and, and, you know, the millions of animals lost and homes and everything, that um, there are different fundraisers going around. I did do a purchase from the one that Debbie mentioned, um, you know, to show support, but they're also having a um, making things. I guess they need pouches for the animals and, and wraps and things like that. Um, if I can find the link that she shared, I will put it below. I'm not sure if I still have it. Um, so they're, they're doing stuff at the meetup this Wednesday or, or planning it, or some people have already been working on it, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to make it because <sighs> life right now. Anyway, two of the members are pregnant. At the time when I started this, one was pregnant, um, or is pregnant. So we all decided to make something, and her theme is a jungle theme, and her colors are like a navy blue and tan in, in that color range. So I was going to make a monkey. She ended up making a monkey. I was going to make a giraffe. She made a giraffe. So the um, left-handed crochet I had an offer for the new year, I think, um, at the end of December, and I jumped on it, and I grabbed uh, one of her patterns. So this is, I don't know if it has a name, but... This is the hippo. <laughs> and I used um, mandala ombre in, as you can tell, in um, the harmony color. 
for that one because of the the navy color and then this is um gary from urban yarns um sent me a little christmas box and this was the knit picks brava sport that i doubled to make the bottoms of the hands and feet so yeah I was hoping to at least, because I'm not sure what the plan is uh, as far as gathering things and how we're going to do it. So I was hoping to bring it to go show them, but I'm not sure if I'm going to make it tonight. But Hippo's done. Um, the other thing I decided to make, I have some um, Bernat blanket small balls that I had. And I used to use them for loveys, and I haven't made a lovey in a while. But I decided to pull one out and one wasn't enough but turns out the colors coordinated so found this elephant pattern on Ravelry um, I was quite impressed with the amount of work in the the shaping and everything it's not just the you know you do the snout and then you sew it on it's all one piece you do the ears they are two different ears there's a regular size and I guess a bigger size the Dumbo size and that's the one I did the ears actually um, crocheted on as you're doing the head. I did add a couple extra rounds just to give me more space on the back but in the smile I added of course and the eyes were safety eyes but I just made um, regular eyes instead and this was I think Little Cosmos is the color it's like a sky blue um, cream and tan color or taupe color and then this was just um, the browns and creams and taupe so they totally coordinated they look like they went together so yeah I also made that for her going with the jungle theme so that's that unfinished objects oh hang on I also have a few others that were um, also in our group I mentioned that oops one of the other members is getting married next month. She's actually having a destination wedding. It's just she and her, I think, she and her fiance and maybe one other person or two other people. And then she's gonna come back and have a party. But we decided to just pause. <laughs> okay, I totally think that was a telemarketer, but I make the calls look like they're local and somebody local now, and then you answer it and then it turns into those automated, anyway. So we decided to make hats, hats, hearts of all shapes and sizes and types and so on. So um, I made, looks like I'm missing one. I made one and these are patterns I either found on, I think I found them all on YouTube. So there's this one and added the string and there was no color scheme said so I just picked whatever it was Mammy um, this one I think this is a girly bunches girly bunches um, was another OG youtuber who hasn't made a video in a long time she's British um, yeah she hasn't made a video in a really long time but I just made two and I um, crab stitched them together so there's that, and then I'm trying to think what I did. I don't even remember what I did. This is a oops, one of those fashion yarns that I have. Um, it's one that I cleaned out up there. It's got sequins in it and it's like a roving, thin roving yarn with roving yarn with sequins. So again, did I, I made two and then um, I forget what I did with them for the edging, but I sewed them together. So it's a little puffy. And then I just made another one that I made two and stitched together. It's just the basic hats that you can find out there and then this one would have ended like here but I didn't like that so I kept going but I, I decreased I think a little too much but 
it's one of those you make the two and then you join them and then you just keep going so there's that so that will be my contribution to that and hopefully I think she's gonna be there tonight so I don't know if I can even bring it and what the plans are and then the other thing and I am taking way too long I need to try not to rip. Oh, it's not going to happen. I'm going to have to rewrap. So, I had a request to make a infinity scarf and fingerless mitts out of the velvet yarn. She calls it the pipe cleaner. That pipe cleaner yarn. So, um, I don't like working with that yarn. I've used the Parfait yarn for Amigurumi. I think I used another velvet yarn for Amigurumi, but working with it and making wearables, I don't like it. Oh, I put um, I put my bag of lavender, dry lavender in there, so it smells really nice. But I tried about three or four different stitches to keep going, and it just it, uh, and different hook sizes because it just felt like it was so loose. Um, and I know that Marley Bird, um, somebody else had also mentioned, Marley Bird had a video on, you know, using it. And it's, this is one where she recommends you stick to the, uh, the hook recommended for this because, yeah, I don't like the way it, it feels and how loose it feels. And I went down a couple of hook sizes. But anyway, what I ended up doing, I started doing, uh, I think I did... I started with a double crochet v-stitch and this was um, this was one from one of the uh, the squares from the crochet along last year and then I got tired of um, cuz look of the loops up oh, my mom's calling me I'm gonna have to call her back um, this is what happens I didn't miss a stitch or anything but the loops just seem to like pop out all the time but anyway double crochet no half double crochet V stitch and then I just went into plain double crochet so you get it's not double crochet half double crochet so you get a little interest which you can hardly see and then the rest is just plain and it's able to wrap around twice and then fingerless mitts I don't like making um, they never come out the right size, and I'm not even sure. I didn't think to measure her hand or anything, so. First I didn't add the thumb, and then I went back and just added the thumb. And and I didn't use anyone's particular pattern, except I had watched a video once, and I don't remember who it is. I think it was Tea Time Crochet a while back, when she showed how to do the uh, gusset increase for the thumb. And I've kind of used that since and just, you know, played with it. So. That's that, and I need to hurry up. But I just realized it's still going to be a little long because I still have the yarns to show you. Okay. Um, so that's that. I'm going to pause you and get the yarns, and I'll be right back. Okay. Just looked at the time, and ooh, truck is going by the window, and the sun just like glared right off it. Anyway. Just looking at the time and it's definitely not quick. Huh. All right, so I'm gonna talk to my mom while I was getting all this done. And so the premiere yarn came. I'm so excited. I just saw somebody, was it Gary again from Urban Yarn? Was showing his. It's so pretty. I was almost going to buy another three or four of them and Thankfully, I guess they were <laughs> they were out of stock. Um, but it did come in a heck of a lot of plastic, though, like triple plastic. It comes in this one, and then the FedEx plastic, and another Premier plastic bag as well. So, anyway, I got four. I got the. Okay, do they have the names on it? Uh, oh wait. I got Woodland, Rustic, Agate, um, 
and Poppy. All right, so this is the agate. And I'm not gonna take it out of the plastic. I know you guys have seen it on other people because I'm not ready to use it. And if I take it out, it's just gonna spill everywhere. And no. Um, this is the Poppy. I believe this is the Rustic, or maybe it's the Woodland. Yeah, I'm not opening it, so I don't know for sure. Hmm. Yep, this is the Woodland. And it is golden. It's like fall, you know, when things are really starting to die off. Not when it's all the vibrant colors, but more like you know, in the, the thick of it, starting to like brown out. That's what it's, it reminds me of. Oh, so pretty. And the rustic. Yeah, that's about right. The reds and off-whites and blacks and... Oh, uh, love it, love it, love it. Oh, I think it's going to be a knitted shawl. I think so. I think so. I'm happy and sad I didn't buy additional... All right, so the other um, blueprint order that I made, oh, it's so soft. <laughs> the last one I bought was alpaca yarns, and these are, again, the Bremont, or Bremont, Lilu. It is so soft. Oh, it is so soft. It is 90% llama. 10% polyamide, which is nylon, I believe. It's so soft. The reason I bought it was because, one, it's pretty. <laughs> Two, was on clearance. And three, four, three, they're completely my colors. And four, they had little um, Stellina in it. Not like, not like the, the silver thread that coils around, but you know, the little bits of Stellina that will just sparkle at you or twinkle at you. <sighs> it's so pretty. Oh my god. It's so pretty. <sighs> uh, I forget what the colors were. Hold on. Do they have it in here? Gold sparkle and red sparkles. The sparkle in it is like a, a gold twinkle sparkle. Look at that. Ah, uh, feast your eyes. Yes, it's that beautiful. Uh, the red is showing just a, both of them are showing a tad bit lighter on camera. Uh, so pretty, so soft. Uh, so I was thinking I might actually use that for Kalisha's um, festive shawl. Uh, so soft. I'm excited, okay. No guilt here at all, because it was, I don't think this one has the, nope, doesn't have the prices, but they were cheap. They were really cheap. And I am a subscriber to the program they have, so there was an additional 15% off and um, free shipping, so. Okay, I think I'm done. I need to get back to work. I need to, I'm stressing about taxes. Um, I think I'm going to heat up my tea and get over myself and finish what I need to do. All right. I will talk to you guys later. Um, see, yarn makes it all better. <laughs> I do have two bags over there of um, the little bit of cleanup that I did. I pulled up all the small balls of odd things and I placed it with all my scraps and I'm going to use that in the um, next corner to corner that I started. Did I show you guys that? Hang on. Oh, I just spilled my bag of, many, of um, scraps. All right. I may or may not have shown it last time, but I am making it extra thick. It's like uh, a number six plus um, bulky. So I'm holding usually four strands of worsted or um, if I have worsted in sport, I just, I hold four of them together. Um, it started off, there it is. It's very muted for me right now. But what's in it, um, 
seven, eight years ago, I started a blanket in Karen Simply Soft Double Stranded for my nephew. And halfway through it, it was just feeling too heavy for a baby blanket. And I'm not a fan of using Karen Simply Soft that much. So I stopped and I made him like a Jacob's Ladder blanket instead. Um, I think I still use Karen Simply Soft. But that partially complete blanket has been sitting there for all those years. I've used bits of it over the years, but most of it was still sitting there. So I finally have put it all in here. So the persimmon and peach color. So I held two colors, like two blue shades or two peach shades together originally. So the persimmon and peach colors here, there were two blue colors here. And that kept going and when I ran out, um, I held it with something else and then there were two shades of yellow of a minty green color here and that's where I finally ran out of the Karen Simply Soft and I'm just and I introduced it I try to hold one color um, you know for as long as possible so if I have an odd ball of of yarn somewhere I'd use that with the Karen Simply Soft and some something else so that there's one long continuous color theme going through it so that's the plan to use up my scraps and whatever oddballs that I have in this so that's where that is and on that note I need to get my butt back to work so